Yeah, that's pretty cool looking, eh? This is the uh, Intigy, um 10th scale mega remote control winch. Um, it actually just came today in the mail. Um, it's very similar to a bulldog winch, like an RC four wheel drive bulldog winch. Um, yeah, see, it's made by Intigy here. Yeah, I know Intigy is pretty infamous on, like, the RC network for being, like, kind of, kind of bad quality stuff, but honestly, uh, when I ordered this, it was on back order for, like, two months, so I was actually expecting this, like, two months ago, so it just came literally today, so, um, I actually got this for my big SCX-10, I, I got it in green, because, uh, just to match the color scheme, you know, but... Um, real cable on this, actually, quite amount of it, too, like, that's actual, like, uh, uh, braided cable, and, uh, little metal hook, I mean, I, I don't know, like, how decent the, the, like, uh, I don't know, the, uh, durability of this, but, I mean, at least it's metal, but, I mean, you could easily put a, another hook on there if you so choose, I mean, easy switch, but yeah, um, you got your switch here. Uh, this can put it in off, uh, and then I believe this reverses it, so on, on the, on the controller, like on the little remote, um, if you want to switch it, so one button does reverse and one button does forwards, you have that option, so, yeah, um, and then, I mean, you just got your, uh, quick attach plug here, it already came like that, um, and yeah, you got your other, uh, looks like a quick plug here. Uh, which leads into the, uh, actual little, um, like the control panel, I guess. Um, if a guy wanted to, to, like, waterproof this or resist or whatever, um, I, I, it's shrink-wrapped here, but, um, if you really wanted to, like, uh, seal, like, this part here, where water could seep in and potentially, like, screw this up, um, you could easily just plastic dip this, like with the spray or the actual dip. I mean, I did that with my three racing winch and it lasted quite a while. Um, so that's pretty easy. Um, and uh, I'd be tempted to probably plastic dip probably the bottom of this because there are some ex uh, exposed uh, solder down here. And I mean, it wouldn't really, it wouldn't be a bad thing to do it basically. I, I would probably recommend it. I mean, you could just tape this all off up here and then just spray this, but, yeah, um, you got a balance plug here, um, I could assume that, uh, you could put this into a lipo, if it was the appropriate kind, this, uh, for, for my balancers won't fit, but I'm sure you could probably rig something on there to plug it right into a lipo, probably no big deal, um, and then it has, uh, just a standard Tamiya plug, it actually is just, I have it plugged into a, a little battery here, but, comes with a Tamiya plug, um, again, I mean, if you're running a separate battery for your winch or your lights or whatever, you could just pop it right in there, you could change to a Dean's or whatever you want, really, um, so yeah, that's basically what the winch comes with, but, and it was like, I think, this winch, I think, I think a Bulldog is like 70 bucks, I think, or like 60 something, but this one, I think, if I remember right, I think this was like 50 or 60 bucks, I think it was like 59, so I guess like 60 bucks, I'm pretty sure anyway, I mean, I'll put a link in the description, but yeah, I think it was like 10 bucks less than a Bulldog, and it seemed to be pretty much the same thing, if not, I don't know, it might be better, might be worse, again, you kind of just have to, I mean, with Intigy, I have heard a lot of bad things about it, but I'm the kind of person to kind of like to try it myself and see what my opinion is on it. Um, I've already tested this once to actually make sure that it could do something, but just to see if it would actually have the balls to do it, but I'll show you actually a quick little test of it, of it lifting something, because um, until I actually hook this to a truck, um, it's kind of just sitting on the bench right now, but yeah. I guess I'll show you the little controller here too, I'll back this off here. Um, comes with this little controller here, this, this thing actually slides up for if it's in your pocket or something. Uh, looks like a little car starter, comes with a little keychain, and this thing just slides up and down. It says uh, into G right there, and you got your uh, A and B, so if like, you wanted to reverse this, this is what I was talking about, like if you want A to uh, release the cable out of the fair lead. Uh, you would push A and then hold on it and then let go for it to stop. 
and then push hold B to have it uh, retreat back in. And if then if you change the switch to the other position, uh, I think it would basically do vice versa. I think I played around with that earlier and it was basically just vice versa. B would bring it out, A would uh, feed it back in. So that's really it for the most part. It's again, very similar to a bulldog winch, very similar. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, I'll show you a test here. I uh, got some, uh, these are 2.2 uh, Proline TSL Super Swamper tires. Um, I just took a bit of a chain here and I uh, just kind of linked them together. And I'll try lifting, uh, like, I mean, these are on metal Vanquish rims. Uh, these are the Method Racing rims. Um, so they're not light. That's like, I don't know, pound maybe. Pound and a half. But yeah, let's, let's give this a try. Put this down here. So yeah, there's the tires here. So I'll bring out the winch here. Just holding A, or the A button, I guess. Feeds out the cable. I'm just holding the winch with my hand, just to kind of act as a brace here. Let's see if that's enough here. Right. So, oops. I got the chain hooked up here. So, I'll push. I'll just hold on the winch up here. Just gonna hold it just so it don't move. So now I'll just uh, push B. Now once you stop it, it does kind of urge back down, but it does it does actually hold. So I mean that's pretty. That's not too bad actually. I mean that's. I mean three. Oops. Yeah, they all kind of fell there. Um. I don't know. I mean, you got you got your two two and you got a metal bead lock in there. So I mean three of these. That's that's not bad. I mean it could probably lift a lot more, but I mean that's just what I had laying around. So that's just what I. Uh, what I tested it with, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's it's not a bad little winch. Um, I'll certainly get some use out of it. Kind of a neat thing. You can pick on Intigy like what color you want and stuff. They have quite a bit, so I don't know. I think I'll I'll find a use for this. It's pretty neat. Um, I'll put a link in the description as always, and uh, yeah. And I guess as for the color scheme, I mean, it 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 kind of matches uh, even the tire. Eh? Maybe put this. Kinda. It's pretty freaking close, actually. That's not bad. But yeah. Um. Mm, probably down the road, I'll probably pick up a couple more of these, either into G or Bulldog or whatever. Um. So yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. I guess it's just a review on the uh, Mega Mega Winch Arch Remote Control Mega Winch. I believe it's called from uh from Intigy, So. Yeah, hopefully uh, this helped. Um, anyone that's potentially wanting a winch or a remote control winch or something similar to a bull like, you know. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the videos and you want more, uh, feel free to subscribe or comment below. Thanks.